driven about 9,000 miles across the U.S. up until this point, and by a long shot, Wisconsin gets the prize for most... Okay, we're in Sassy Cow Creek. We get all we can. when you see an old style beer sign on top of or next to a, an aluminum sided house. Uh, it's, a, it's a common style of a, a bar out here. You don't really see it in too many other spots. That and we've driven about 9,000 miles across the US up until this point. And by a long shot, Wisconsin gets the prize for most number of dead deer on the side of the road. Really dead anything on the side of the road. There's a lot of death on the side of the road here in Wisconsin. Probably even more than you even see because I think some people take it home and mount it or make jerky out of it or whatever. So, All right, we're doing a tasting here. I don't film all these like I used to. There's four chocolate milks here. Sassy Cow Creamery Reduced Sugar Chocolate Milk. It's okay, it's pretty chalky. It's not overly sweet and it does have monk fruit extract. And this one might have monk fruit juice in it, which is a rare ingredient you see and it's like many, many times sweeter than sugar. So products I've had with monk juice extract in the past have been super sweet in kind of an unnatural way. This doesn't have that affliction. So I'd say they pull off the low sugar thing pretty well. It doesn't have too nasty of a taste. Babcock Hall. UW Madison chocolate milk. Kind of tasted this on Bassett Hill. Straight down the middle chocolate milk. Um, very average. This is an interesting one. Oberweiss chocolate, no sugar added. Now this also has monk fruit extract in it. Strange. I haven't had too many, but two in the same flight that have monk fruit extract in it. Not as good. And this one is very low cal. It's only 38 calories per 100 bills. This does have that kind of cloying, artificial sweetener type taste. This is not particularly enjoyable. No, not at all. It's not overly sweet, but it does have kind of a kabuki taste to it. The chocolate's not really there, and it does even have a little bit of chalkiness to it, which is not great. Prairie Farms. I've had a lot of Prairie Farms. It's very available. This is a 1% version. I've had a 1% version in the plastic before. The difference being, this has high fructose corn syrup in it. The plastic one has just sugar. You can see this is a nasty, this is not meant to be looked at outside of the carton. Okay, that's pretty gray, pretty dreadful looking, if I'm honest. Now, I know better than to judge by the looks here, but I can't say that I'm super excited. Oh, it's not good at all. Uh, it's not chocolatey very, very much at all, and it's, it's just got a weird feel to it. But, I don't know if it's high, you know, I've had things with high fructose corn syrup in it that are very good. I'm not a, a stickler for that sort of thing, but this stuff is pretty nasty. Definitely go with the Prairie Farms 1% in a plastic bottle if you have the option. Don't have this, this must be made for school kids or whatever, that's just, that's abusive. You know, there you have it, still better than this shit. Still better than this shit. Okay, until then. My hips charge like Brahma, no sights like Wanda. A crooked teeth girl who bite like piranha. Body needs cleaning. 
but I noticed something kind of messed up with this Sassy Cow Creamery reduced sugar chocolate milk. A couple of lumps kind of came out, and it's not the type of a, you can see there's a little swirly swirl there. I think that's where it's buried. That's where we're gonna dig. I got the spoon. We're used to lumps when you see when there's a high cream content and sometimes you shake it up and the cream doesn't mix in and you end up with these lumps, especially when you get the cream top stuff and sometimes it's really hard to mix it in. This is not one of those cases. This is homogenized and it's not a high cream content chocolate milk. It's 1%. Oh, come on now, you're gonna make a liar out of me? I swear to God, there's lumps in here. It went bloop, bloop. So we'll see. You know what? Maybe it was ice and it melted. Not so much for the video. It must have been what it was, because it poured out and I was like, oh, there's big chunks of something in there. It was probably ice. Uh, there's no freezer in the fridge, but maybe it was close to the, where it's cold. That pisses me off. Well, I'm gonna go through this still. If I see any more chunks, I'll take them out. But it probably turns out that it was ice. First time that's happened. All right. So how is this shit anyway? 